welcome back. I'm Mary Ann. If you're coming back in for the next video, then I, I'm assuming you may have saw the intro to our page. If not, definitely um, check it out. It kind of gives you like the background as to what I'm doing here. Yeah. But you know, I don't really know what I'm doing here either. So um, I'm just going to start in. I am going to go over this painting today a little bit. I'm going to do a couple final touches and I'll kind of give you the insight and the story behind the art here. Um, it goes along with scripture, so I'll, I'll give you those scriptures too. So if you're building your faith, you can um, kind of go along with me and maybe we can learn from each other. Um, I'm asking for people to put in the comment section um, suggestions for uh, future paintings. I'm building a um, gallery at this point, I'm just trying to um, put some art together and let this um, time that I'm taking off work due to medical uh, issues be of use um, and while I'm growing my my faith and I thought well maybe somebody else out there might be doing looking for someone who might resonate with them um, right now uh, with my health issues I'm having um, a lot of pain associated with it um, getting my nutrition uh, through liquids mostly um, and I found a great product and I'm not getting paid for this at all but this was actually gifted to me um, It was gifted to me um, from a lady that I kind of met uh, unwittingly. I wasn't trying to. Um, just my daughter's, I wasn't feeling well. My daughter's dragged me to this like um, jujitsu or karate kind of thing that their friend was doing um, for like a party to, that they were trying to generate more, more people. And I didn't want to go, but I was like, okay guys, I know you're really excited and Mommy's been sick, and I haven't really been able to do much with you guys, um, so let's let's go. So it definitely wasn't like an intentional meeting situation. Uh, I later found out that she was kind of in the same boat. She wasn't really interested in putting her kids in this program, but her kids like really wanted her to go. So uh, we both kind of met by happenstance. It wasn't like planned at all, and um, I was really ill at that point um, in my health journey, and um, she uh, she happened to be. This is something she kind of did on the side. She sells uh, uh, products through Amway. Um, and this was one of the shakes. And at that point, it was all I could consume was liquid. And uh, I was I was really mentally, um, my mental capabilities at that point were really sluggish. I was really out of it. I'd lost a lot of weight um, through this, this medical issue. And uh, she said, you know, I have something that might help you. And she gifted me a couple bags of this stuff over the, the last, um, over the course of this year. This could have been almost a year that I've been dealing with this uh, health issue. And um, this was like the turning point. This, this product was like the turning point for me in terms of my nutrition, um, kind of getting back to my, getting back to some kind of like level of health. Um, so I definitely am, am just very, um, very uh, thankful and grateful and blessed and I wanted to make sure I gave her a little shout out so I'll put her link for her products on here it is actually uh, vegan 100% uh, plant-based and um, really um, for someone for my particular uh, issue that I'm currently going through um, nutrition isn't getting to where it needs to be very easily so uh, I definitely felt like renewed and refreshed after having it uh, the general um, recipe for it we kind of upgraded so I'll make sure I put my daughter my daughter kind of did a little this, a little that, and now it's like, it tastes like almost like brownie batter. It's absolutely delicious and nutritious and uh, definitely recommend it. So anyway, I just wanted to make sure I gave her a quick shout out on that. But um, I'm gonna focus the camera down here in just a moment on the art and I'm gonna do a few little touch ups on this one and I'll tell you all about it. So stick with me. All right, got that all reset, good to go. Um, I had promised that I was gonna tell you a little bit about this um, piece of work here. Uh, I just, uh, the, the night I made it, I was in a terrible amount of pain and uh, I got up, I, I kind of had this thought in my head, I'd, I'd already been like doing some some uh, Bible study and, and reading and and I had like, kind of like this vision in my head, I really just needed to get it out of me a little bit. I've been talking to my, my daughters and, you know, trying to really understand, help them kind of understand what I was going through and and uh, kind of relates back to to uh, meeting uh, this person I call like a spiritual advisor. Her name is actually Marianne too. So I thought it was kind of weird that, that I was kind of led to her, 
someone and it was like no more in your face than meeting someone with your own name and it's just not a common name um so to speak so um it was kind of like a a really cool way to meet someone but she um she's kind of been like that kind of person that step by step has has brought me out of the darkness and brought me back to my faith and, and I, I I was you know pretty spiritual when I was younger I did mission trips with my youth group and I really enjoyed um learning about God I mean I remember the most um like my core memory of uh religion or faith was when I was like five years old and I kind of went to this church all by myself or my, my older sister, she's a few years older than me. Um, and I had gone to this church and, uh, you know, we didn't have our parents with us or anything. And, and we just went and they had like this Anawana's group. And, and, uh, I remember they, they said, uh, uh, they wanted us to remember some verses and the main one was John three sixteen, and it was for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to whomsoever should be leave it than him shall not perish have everlasting life and and as a child I, I really remember like being very touched by that and um, it kind of like made me like like think, oh my God, I feel so bad for God and I didn't know and you know in that, in that young mindset I didn't know that God was a spirit I I thought poor God he he lost his boy he lost his son and uh just my innocence and that I remember back and I I remember just being so like almost brought to tears at how special that was and what how much that meant and and so anyway so I've I've, I've kind of always had like that foundation of of faith and um for a while I kind of wandered and uh I didn't really I didn't really I mean I always live by uh the verse that my grandma taught me she uh she said um to that I shouldn't live my life you know waiting for someone to give to me or anything like that it's just like doing to others as you would have them doing to you um and it's it's kind of always made me seem on the naive side but really it's just like the act of living in a state of kindness um I don't know it just it worked really well for her she was always kind she was always um just like a, an amazing person and and um you know, she did a lot for me. She didn't have to. And, and I, I, I always just felt like, so I just loved her so much. She was, she was so special to me. So, so this particular, uh, canvas was actually from her bag and it was actually even ripped in the back. So I just taped it up and I was like, uh, there's no, no thought in my mind to sell any of this work. I, I really just want to, to get that connection out there because, um, I don't know, maybe other people have it like dwelling inside them and they don't know how to release it. But, but this has been really cathartic for me, especially with all the pain and um, health stuff I'm dealing with right now. Uh, so I figure I share it because, you know, I'm a server. So like I, I'm missing my talking to people and uh, this might get it out there. So um, so this this represents a verse from Second Corinthians. Uh says um, using and, and I'm using the new international version so um, when I read it that way you under, you know what what version to look up um, and there's a great app called uh, the Bible Gateway and it just kind of um, it has all different versions of the Bible in there and it's just really quick and easy to, to use and so I rec definitely recommend that but it says for God who said let light shine out of darkness made his light to shine in our hearts to give us the light of our of the knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ. Um, this just had spilled out of me. So these are my old, grandma's old dried paints that I was using. So for any artists out there, I, I don't like to to take on that title because I I'm not an artist. I don't think, but but um this is more like a spiritual connection for me. So I don't want to offend any actual artists out there because I'm not an artist. I, this is just how I see this scripture come to life in my head. So I wanted to just share that with you guys. And um, you'll see in this painting, this black background kind of rec represents that darkness, uh, that, that um, murky kind of scariness, I guess. I mean, 
uh, for me, I, I went back and I kind of added in these touches and wisps of smoke because, you know, it's really, it just feels like everything's smoldering. It's, you're just so overwhelmed and fear and pain and anguish. And these are all, you know, very earthly things. We're human, so that happens. And, and sometimes, you know, you just don't know what, where to go with that. And um, I was blessed with meeting Marianne. And, and so she she literally has kind of broken down the Bible. She's answered all my questions. She's she sat and, and talked to me and, and kind of got me back step by step through through everything just to bring me into this space where, you know, I can see potential for for my life, no matter, you know, how long I have or, or what I have, but, you know, like to, to embrace it and to not hide behind, you know, what are people going to think? And, you know, what am I going to do if, if someone knows about my faith? And, and just, she, she really encouraged me to move past that because, you know, like, like if I, if I feel this way, then other people must feel this way. And I know she does. So, so it just made sense. And, and so this ring of fire kind of represents that, that feeling that you're going to get, you're going to get burned by people that people aren't going to like you. Um, and you're going to have to, you know, really like just get through that fire. Um, and that sting that comes from it to really grow into your own faith and, and bring it kind of full circle and give it all back to God. And and so this in a way is kind of like my way of sending that message out to people. I know it's hard because it was hard for me, you know, like um, just being outward about it and sharing God's word. It's, it's not always like well received. So sometimes it can be like a little frightening, but so anyway, I, I'm going to do just a little bit of touch up here, nothing major, um, but I wanted to just kind of finish it off, polish it up a little bit. I'm gonna use a little bit of this Artist Loft acrylic paint, um, titanium white, you know, Bob Ross's favorite. And um, I wanted to add in, kind of soften the edges of this cross here. Um, this is uh, kind of like that, that, uh, that traditional symbolism of you know, how Jesus took on our sin. And to me, it's very spiritual. You, you It has like this flooding of light and um, that turquoise on the background, you know, is uh, very um, just bright and, and uh, powerful color there. I just wanted to make sure it was, you could see a kind of like a, a, a piece, almost like a tranquil kind of feel to it. And, um, and then I'm, another cool thing is, this is just by accident, this path here, I did this path, I struggled with it because I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing. This isn't something I, I am skilled at necessarily, but um, when when uh, my husband actually he actually kind of was like oh let's try this and he did this here and I don't I don't think he meant to but it ended up with and I don't know if you can see but it kind of ended up with like a J and a C and I was like oh how awesome that kind of that symbolism there working um, to remind people that uh, through Jesus Christ you you can um, be redeemed and and you walk that path and you shine that light and it it's uh, that opportunity there keeps coming back to you. Um, to to share his his works and and uh, kind of be part of his family like uh, in the, the Christian family it's, it's pretty special it's a uh, uh, so many people out there that that are so rich in spirit and you know offer kind words and prayers and and those prayers sometimes can mean you know the world to somebody and you know, I was offered those prayers freely and, and, uh, I'm still here. And, you know, I was told, I was told I wasn't going to be here. I was told, uh, that I was going to die and, you know, like basically start making my, uh, 
my final arrangements kind of sort of thing and I'm still here so I must still have a purpose and I'm trying to chase that purpose down and I'm following the all of these little signs that keep happening all, along the way and I'm so grateful that I've been given some of this time off because I think that when we work a lot and we're you know busy with our lives and our families we forget to um, keep God at the heart of our our lives and we miss a lot of the details we we I, I was even talking to my 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 19 year old and I was telling her you know when you're looking down at your social media and you're looking down at your phone all the time and and you're not paying attention and my, my other daughters who like to watch TV and YouTube um, I, I tell them you guys are kind of missing out you're not seeing you're not seeing the path that God has before you and you miss out on the little details and sometimes those little details you know they, they could make a, a huge difference in your life and so maybe maybe that resonates with somebody out there if you if you uh if it resonates with you definitely leave a comment if you think of any um uh other element of this painting that you saw that they didn't really talk about um that kind of stuck out to you definitely i would love to hear your feedback on it um but for the most part i'm going to add just a little bit of this uh let's see don't know let's go Let's go with some crimson in there to add a little bit of, I'm gonna see if I can add a little flame element to it. Oh, that one's not open yet. Let's see if I can just add in some, some wisps of red, and I, you know, kind of really, and then I'll go back around and kind of Soften it with a little bit of the yellows. My grandma, she she did oil paintings, and she would always tell me that uh, she would just mess with it too much, and and it would lose its it's uh, like original charm. So I feel like I'm already doing that, but that's okay. My friend won't mind. She's a, she's a pretty cool lady. She, uh, she'll love it no matter how it turns out. All right. I do a little bit of this yellow um, ochre. One day I'll get some new paints, but right now these are gonna have to do. Uh, let's see, we'll kind of muddle that together and it'll look a little bit more flame-like, I think. What do you think? You think it looks flamey? She said it kind of looked like a sunflower, so I just wanted to capture the like flame element. All right. I just um so grateful to have this opportunity to to do this because you know time is you know people when working you know a regular job you wouldn't actually have time to do it so we're very blessed that we get that I'm getting this time off and to heal and try to make something come to life I feel very blessed Oh, 
husband just got home. So I'm finishing you this one up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he always gets the better he gets the better welcome than I ever did. Let's see what he has to say about it. Hey, babe, come and look at my painting. No, this isn't a new one. This is the one uh, I'm just touching up. Yeah, this is the Ring of Fire one. That, I know, I just said that. Isn't that crazy? I did. I know, and I, that's what my grandma would say too, but I just wanted to add a little bit of red in there to make it. Any artist you ever ask, that will tell you that you can always, they always want to touch your painting more, but you shouldn't. Yeah. Well, Once you're done with it, that's what it should be. What do you think? The red add a little bit of more of a flamey element? Yeah. Oh, that mm -hmm. touches up that. I thought you were touching no, up that No, I just had a little bit more of I the know, I white. I thought you were touching up that one. No, no, not yet, not yet. Don't touch But I, I am, I'm going to touch that Don't. one up too. Just a little. I'm going to add, because I want to add a couple little things to that one too, but, but what do you think? I just added a little red to it, just give it more of a flame Let element. Let me put a little bit more here. You want me to put there? Yeah. More there? Okay. No, that's mine. Oh, you're putting? Yeah. So what else? What do you think? Especially this. Anyway. What do you think? I think it looks... Looks, looks beautiful. Good. Do I need to add any more red to it, Lexi? Um, let me see this. A little bit more red at the top. A little more red at the top? Yeah. We don't. We, we opened it. Stuck with old age. Did you open it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's probably just stuck with old age. Or maybe some double sided tape, which should just fly off. Mm. Mommy, I kind of want you to fill in this. Right here? Yeah. I think a little bit? Yeah. Did you locate the thing for me? What do you think? Good. That is beautiful. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you do this one too? Yeah, I just added a little bit more white. Oh. Ooh. Mm. Do you have orange? Yes, but I don't really want to put more orange in there. Okay. Um, you have barely any yellow. bit on like a little bit of dark blue over here for the sky tiny bit of black, dark blue no sky. no because i want it to be very light this oh, is really? this is the light of of god and jesus and spirit. oh you want it very light okay i want the white you know like they say that red symbolizes jesus's blood and they say that white symbolizes the spirit of god oh. so that's kind of what i was going for you should put a little tiny bit more more red right here. That's like an empty mm -hmm. space. There we go. And you want like a light odd. So, ooh, this is a light red. You want dark, so you. Oh, this is the red you. you the, I bet. This is yellow? Oh, yeah. 
Wait. Do you want a yellow cross, really? Ooh. Wait, Mom. I just thought of this from your video. This really is the perfect time to be selling these. I'm not trying to sell any. This is for Marianne. I'm not trying to sell oh. anything. I mean the other one. It really is the best time. Ooh, wait, you're giving this Marianne? Yeah, this is for Marianne. Oh. Then why not put a little bit right here? I'm put a little here? Yeah. Because it's barely any red over there. All right. All right. I think that's it. I wanted to thank you so much for joining up our family. I know you got a little bit of time there with the whole family kind of chatting. Um, we, we have four kids, so it's always noise around here. So if it bothered you, I, I apologize, but I wanted this to be as little edited as possible. So I, I like the idea of it just being kind of, you know, in the moment and uh, capturing that rawness that people don't always get to see. Um, but since this community is very family family forward, I, I figure it's probably a pretty good community to uh, to allow our little debates and, and talking in the background. Um, but we'll get better at this. This is really only the, our first tutorial video. So we got, we got some learning to do. Um, but it's been such a pleasure and um, I hope this may have touched you. I'm looking forward to reading some comments and um, getting some um, verse suggestions to, to add to this um, gallery. And, um, and I, I am very hopeful with this channel. Uh, as many subscribers as we can um, get, that would be amazing. Uh, likes, um, uh, if you're watching, and eventually if we ever do get, you know, ads or anything, um, that would be awesome. But um, if you don't mind, I'm going to say a little prayer for you, and, and, uh, and then I'll let you have a wonderful day. Uh, dear Lord, our Father. Thank you so much for giving me the courage to put this out there. I, I thank you for giving me this opportunity to let all of it kind of spill out of me. And uh, I thank you for all those that, that do tune in and watch and hopefully they get a message. And, and God, if, if there's someone out there struggling, please help them as you helped me and help pull them out of that darkness and that dark place that struggle and strife and and show them the way to you lord and make that path a little less daunting and help them to get the comfort and enjoy that they need out of life because it's rough out here but lord i i thank you for for all that you've given us in your name we pray amen